It's rolling. Um, so why did you say that my blog sucks? What? <laughs> when you came in here, you said, Oh, no, I, 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 was, I was not in terms of the content, in terms of the look. Because it's, it's, so, it's so simplistic. It's like, I come to it and I think I'm at a parked page. You know, you come and there's just the ad stuff <laughs> on the side. I'm like, what is this? Advertising for like selling domains or something. You know, it doesn't look like a blog when you come to it. I remember the first time you linked to me, I got all these hits and I'm like, I come and I'm like, what is this thing? You know, like, what? It's nothing. It was so weird, you know? But that's just, you know, if that makes you the most money, that makes the most money, you know? <laughs> that's really what it, there, there's no style to it, you know? And people now, but I, I've struggled with that myself. Like, do people, I mean, is it about the style or about the content? And it's about the content. When it comes down to it, people are coming to read a blog and most people are not inter are not technologically like literate especially Jews and Orthodox Jews and they you know they're coming and they're looking at a site and that's it and my site I've been trying recently to try and like revamp and I have a web guy doing it but it's it's a slow process you know I recently changed to like two sidebars over here and one over here because that's a little you know easier to read and there's not stuff coming at you but you know your site's very white and black you know black black and white whatever you know I didn't say I didn't mean suck in terms of content. I don't read your blog. I don't read anyone's blog. I read two. I read two blog. I read like, I read like maybe five blogs altogether. What do you read? Daily, I read um, Dove Bear, Julicious, uh, Mashable, which is a social media blog. Um, I read Vuss's Nice every day, and. Um, Why do you read those? What do you get out of those blogs? Um, Dove Bear is is a is one of the few um, Orthodox blogs that's left wing and pushes people's buttons. And he's completely anonymous. No one knows who he is. That doesn't really exist in the blog world anymore. And he's been around for like, he's been blogging for like six or seven years. Mm -hmm. And he has really, the really good discussions take place. And anything that's controversially, you know, happening in the Jewish community, he'll mm -hmm. pick it up and he mm -hmm. writes it. And other people write it for him, I like. And uh, Julicious is just, you know, anything going on in the arts and culture community at large. And I like the guy who runs it, so I, you know, and it's and it's a big site. So I mean, when it's a big site, I wanna, you know, you know, read it. I wanna comment. I wanna, you know, and and, and they put up content that I like, and I like their their cause. Uh, Bliss is nice. Is just, you know, like the orthodox tabloid, um, and Mashable is you know anything you need to know about what's going on in tech, like Google Buzz or about tricks and tips with WordPress or with. Anything you need to know about Web 2.0, Mashable is is it, and you know that's my four blogs. I mean, I get a lot of emails sent to me about you know different videos to check out and different you know things going on in there. I mean, I have a few other blogs that I'll check here and there and maybe comment on once in a while, but I very rarely I've tr I've always very rarely read blogs, and I, I that's been actually complained by by um, people I've spoken to in person who are in the blogging community. The Jewish blogs here have been like. You know, you're not active enough in the community. You don't comment enough. You don't make yourself seen, and you don't make presence. That really hasn't stopped them from coming, but I think it's a sore spot. It's like, wait, he doesn't even comment on blogs. How can he be so big? I think th that might be a little jealous aspect, and I think that that definitely exists, because I definitely spoke to people at the Jewish blogging convention when I went in Israel um, that were like, you know, kind of like, who the hell are you, you know? I, I, I think I got that vibe from the guy who runs Treppenwitz and the guy who runs Seraphic Secret and, you know, these guys who are, like, been blogging for years and they have, like, you know, a couple of hundred people come a day and they consider themselves big shit and I'm like, you know, this guy who doesn't even care to read your blog. Because people read blogs, you know, they really comment and they're active and I don't, I don't, I don't, like, most of them don't have... Bad for Shaduka, I check once in a while to see like what's going on. I you know there's a few girl blogs I check here and there, and you know tablet I check out and, and juice I write for Juicy so once in a while I'll Juice School and you know those 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 bigger like Jewish sites you know just to see what's going on GTA forward blogs you know but eh, not 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 so much I'm more I'm more you know within my own realm. What do you think are some of your strengths and weaknesses? Well, weakness is definitely, I, I am not a good, um, I'm not a good, my writing is not formulated correctly because I never took school seriously. So my writing only recently has begun to polish up a little bit, so I, I, I needed it to be edited, and until two months ago I never had an editor, so my spelling and grammar were non-existent, and, and there were a lot of people who would be like, you have amazing content, but you can't spell, I can't read your stuff. And there are a lot of people like that, and it scares people away 
who are a more smarter realm. So when I got an editor, people immediately noticed. Like right away, people were like, I can read you. You know, right. um, that that was a pretty big weakness. So when she's not around, I tend to just put stuff up, and it, you know, sometimes hurts hurts you know my rankings with people. Um, other weaknesses are just you know my even though I I know I can't please everyone I kind of want to and that might that's something that and you know I sometimes let things get to me like someone will make a you know mean comments or whatever and, and sometimes I do let it get to me when it shouldn't I shouldn't let a comment one comment get to me and another thing is that like I and, and this is not how it is though uh, so I am a kind of a discussion blog so I when I get like three comments on a post that I really took time to write I almost feel like no one read it, even though I know 3,000 people read it, I can tell, you know? So, it, it, and also, like, you know, it, I don't know if this is a weakness, but one of my, like, points of sorrow is that some of my greatest satire and my greatest comic lines are go unnoticed and are unappreciated by people. And in general, there isn't, you know, I, I wish there was a little more love, but um, strength is just the ability to put up a, a, opposing viewpoints, the ability to just allow myself to write stuff I don't necessarily agree with, but just to get it out there, or allow people that I don't agree with at all to put up stuff. You know, it's funny, it's good, I don't agree with it, but you know what, I, I think my readers will like this. Some people might like this. Um, and the open, the openness of myself, you know, as an Orthodox Jew, to definitely um, push the boundaries of what could be done. And I, I'm not dirty, I'm not writing dirty material. Um, you know, I got up last night and I did a whole comedy show and had people for an hour and a half laughing their asses off, and I didn't curse once. You know, and I didn't talk about sex, and I didn't. And that's you know an ability that I really, you know, it's always been. Unfortunately, in the really orthodox realm, you talk about Shomer Nagir, or you mention the word sex, right away it's not clean. But in you know, in, which is interesting because those people would be a great audience for me because I make you know I make fun of a lot of idiosyncrasies that only really orthodox people might be able to understand. But um, and, um, other strengths are just the ability, you know, maybe God provides it, whatever, just to keep coming up with material. I mean, mm -hmm. you know how hard it is? To, you know, I, I mean, at any one time, I probably have like 30 posts written up and, you know, in, in my, you know, drafts, and I have about 500 different things I want to talk about. So there's always something, you know, luckily, and even when I have writer's block, it's, you know, but, um, you know, just that, that's a really, really strong quality because a lot of bloggers don't put up stuff very often, and that's... You know, you need a you need to update. You need to put up a post or two posts or three posts a day to keep people engaged. And I'm um, thinking, what else is a good quality? I, I I think the the like the ability to not also the ability to not care what anyone says. I you know my my whole life is out. You can call me on the phone. You can my number to my internet phone is on my blog. The the ability just to be accessible mm -hmm. for for fans, and that's a good ability because when you're anonymous. There's always people who are like, you know, like, I would read this, but I don't know who's writing this. I don't know what this guy's saying. He's probably full of crap. This is probably some, like, schlubby guy who, like, masturbates to pedophile porn sitting in his chair writing this stuff. You know, like, that's, and that's some, a reason why anonymity kind of stinks, you know. How do you know when you're doing good work? I mean, I know myself. I know when I'm writing a really good post is because it just flows. It's just like, it's there. You know, it's just, it's funny. I, I my favorite posts are the ones that are like really funny but really thought provoking. Like I had this one. Um, what do non-Jews think of our Jewish rituals? And that was and it flowed. It just like I was able to write up like three pages in like ten minutes. I just like was pecking and it was going down. It was like really, really a good thing. Um, and also just when you get comments that are that are thoughtful and they're not just like whatever you know they're actually people took the time you know to comment and to com you know compliment you and uh, you know I get I'll get a couple emails or tweets or retweets or you know there's always that you know sometimes you get a really long email and you know but I, I, you know that's you know comments isn't always it you know I can get 80 comments on a post that's not even a good post just something I put up a picture or whatever you know so it's not really that so much you know, I, I can't really explain it but there's a there's a knowing you know what has it felt like to be written about? Good. I'm, a, I'm a, you know, I, I'm not going to shy away. Like, I, I, it's weird, my personality. I'm, a, I'm like an attention whore, kind of. Like, I, I like attention. Like, I'm a, I'm a comedian. Of course I like attention. I like getting on, on YouTube. I like being interviewed. Um, I love that. But at the same time, I'm kind of like a loner, which is kind of weird. So people don't know that. They're like, 
you you seem like that guy who's always got a lot of people around you, but I like to go off into 